This video is going to be a little bit on the short side, but it's fun. It's a reaction using potassium chlorate and sugar and then sulfuric acid. So our materials that we need for this are potassium chlorate, 10 grams, sugar, 10 grams, and just a couple drops of sulfuric acid. I've also seen this listed as 12 grams of potassium chlorate and 4 grams of sugar. Same amount of sulfuric acid, one or two drops. And uh, so I'll be trying that also. And I also plan on testing the difference between granular and powder sugar. Although I think granular is going to work better. I'm going to find out. How are we going to do this? Well, we mix these two together and then add one or two drops of sulfuric acid on the top. I said it would be simple. And then you stand back and do this outdoors because it does produce a lot of heat and smoke. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Weighing out the 10 grams of potassium chlorate. This is uh, what I made in an earlier video. All right, close enough. Weighing out 10 grams of sugar, AKA sucrose. Making a mess while I'm doing it here. Oh gosh, gotta love when that happens. I'm using a simple tin can to do this in. So here goes our sugar, 10 grams, potassium chlorate, 10 grams. All right. Okay, adding a couple drops of sulfuric acid here. Like I said, stand back. You can see all of the carbon that was produced by the burning sugar in there. Quite frankly, with the reaction we just saw, I am not going to bother testing these ratios here. It's just a waste of product, but I will be testing the powdered sugar next. I'm going to grind the potassium chlorate and the powdered sugar together just to see what happens. Take two powdered sugar and potassium chlorate. Adding sulfuric acid to the powdered sugar mix. All right, there you go. That worked really well.